that. What's wrong? I just I just don't know what I'm getting myself into. Good good morning, everybody. We're um Anna wanted to play the <laughs> Colonel Sanders game. My little brother showed me it and it looks <laughs> looks bad. <laughs> Am I dating food? Am I dating? Am I dating him? Let's get let's get right to this. <laughs> it's it's I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating simulator, and uh, I'm so sorry. I'm jumping right into this. I forgot this game existed. To be perfectly honest. See, I didn't know KFC made a game. They were making a gaming console, but I remember the gaming console. It's like it's just so the the gaming console runs so. Wait, wait, wait this is a beautiful. You can cook if you not cook the chicken, but heat up chicken wait the dog was riding a car thing yeah dog can drive dogs can, can't drive dogs no. can drive dogs can, dogs can totally drive, drive. Yeah. what are we even putting on this chicken uh and why does it 11? look like they're eating eggs how many herbs and spices were that 11 11 herbs and spices i thought it was seven the seven no i'm pretty sure that was 11 11 herbs and spices the proper mix do you love colonel sanders <laughs> i love i we're love gonna colonel find out. i love colonel sanders we're gonna find out I'm going into this completely blind, and so is my fiance, yeah, Anna. Oh, you're welcome, Anthony. Hello, Anthony. Sorry. What's up, thank I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're going to this completely blind. Anna messaged me today out of the clear blue, saying like, "Yo, I love you, Colonel Sanders. I think you're looking good dating sim." And I was like, "What about it?" Like, this the most finger licking dating to sim. Play when we get home tonight. And I was like, okay. Let's oh do this then. God. So this is what I get for seeing my brother. What's what's our name? What? Fine. That's my name. Fine. I guess I'll permit it. Or how would you like a pushman twelve? Both of our names. Well, we usually do. Can't. What is it? Um, Calrosi. Cananaron. Oh God. Cananaron. It's it's. Can I don't like that. That's it's terrifying. Cameron with your name shoved right in the right in the middle. I really hope it well, doesn't sound Well, if you bad. want to take my, like, Twitch, it's, like, Carol Disney C. Queen. Chan, and I don't know if we should have Cam Roxon Queen. It's not Cameron. The X is silent. Sorry, Cameron Queen. You want Cameron Queen? Yeah, definitely. That makes more sense. My Twitch name is Disney Queen. So, yeah, there you go. See? Cameron See? Queen. There Cameron we go. Queen. I like that. That's, that's a good ship name. <laughs> Look at the biscuits in the... <laughs> biscuits in the... In the... See, that oh, makes me think of, uh, the country... <laughs> country Griddle. Not Country Griddle. Country Barrel. Uh, Cracker Barrel. There you go. All right. Sleep Ma softly. Oh, you want to narrate? Do it. Yeah, I'm all right. Do it. Go for it. Yeah. You sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. I didn't know I was a student. Oh, this is great. It's so real. Keep going. Okay. The world is peaceful and serene. You should stay in the moment forever. Or you can wake up now. 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 Your first day of culinary school. It's... Is no time to sleep in. <laughs> the clock out the window and stay in bed for Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not going. I'm yeah, not going. Really. You slept through the school year. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up. Standing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. I love this. <laughs> try. I give up. Let's try that again. Gonna send us back for the loading screen again? Really? Oh my god! Oh, well, you geez. just had your first ending! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god! Okay, we're skipping that. Wake up now, now, now. Smack that clock off and at him. Yo, welcome to the party, Final Rhapsody. Matt, what's going on, dude? I'm it's, so sorry. It's finger. It's, it's finger. We can get it. I don't know. I bet you we can't get through five minutes without laughing at least once. <laughs> tell me, tell me what kind of good. Oh, Your mind begins to wander. <laughs> Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. <laughs> you allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. It's here, finally, your first day of culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. Mm. <laughs> if you want to progress, press, press space, and oh, if I, I want to, I'll do the left mouse button. Delicious. Yeah, it, this is, it's, can't believe it's an actual game. 
KFC is super passionate with their with their gaming advertising. They made a dating sim. Yo, welcome to the party, Sir Ocelot the... What was that? I totally missed that. Sir Ocelot the Ostentatious. Dude. I love that. <laughs> welcome to the party. Ocelot. Oh, you're hosting. Well, thank you for the oh, host, Sir Ocelot the Ostentatious. Wait, I need to put a hat on. You don't have hats, do you? I do have Are you serious? Hats. You're gonna start that now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to start doing this. Okay, well, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna continue put on, with I'm gonna have a hat on every single time. Good luck getting box. out of our weird cage. Oh, okay. Hey, hey. Here, tell me the story. Mmm, delicious. Just what you needed to wake up to those taste buds. Jakes! You're in the hurry! In fact, you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. <laughs> You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Oh no! Here, I have a hat on now. You have a hat. That's not a hat. No That's problem. not a party That's hat. Time. I don't have party hats yet. Rame. He's decided that he's going to wear a hat. hat. What hat? Well, Sir Ocelot, if this is a party, we need party hats. So, That's, that was the... Um, he doesn't have party hats. They're the, coming uh, in the mail. That was the motivation here. That was the idea. Anyway. Oh okay. School quad. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Look, we've got a we've got a cherry blossom tree. Academy for Learning. I love the name. University of Cooking School. Any hat is a party hat. <laughs> well, we haven't drunk in anything. I had a whole beer today, thank you very much. And now I'm drinking, let's just call it Coca-Cola. I was offered alcohol before I drove, and then I looked at my brothers and it's crazy. You, you had to drive. You <laughs> drove. My dad looked at him like, are you kidding me? Wait, 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 do you remember that time? Do you remember that time I was drinking Coca-Cola out of a wine glass and my dad was like, you better watch yourself because we gotta drive later. I'm like, Dad, trust me, I'll be fine. He's like, I'm just I'm just saying, you filled up that glass pretty high. Like, Coca-Cola? <laughs> That's because I have an obsession with wine glass. I love holding their stems and I'm like, I'm so classy. So classy. Here comes your long, 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 blah, 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 blah. Here comes your lifelong best friend forever. Name, please. Miriam? Miriam! Miriam. I can't pronounce things. It was just water. I remember that story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Tripping your grandma with the white wine. Oh, that's Miriam! She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. Dude, look at those pigtails. Awesome. I would totally wear those. Awesome. Good morning, Cam Cameron Queen. Cameron Queen. Cameron Queen. <laughs> say, say it with me, New Hampshire. Cameron Queen? Cameron Queen? Cameron Queen. Cameron Queen. Cam Queen. You can even say Cam yeah, Queen. Queen. Okay. Cam Queen. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? I don't like the way that you said that so nihilistically. <laughs> Actually, I, oh, oh, I'm. I, I want to see. You're the narrator. Okay, I'm the narrator, so you get to be the characters now. Oh wait, you just said Miriam's line, didn't you? Oh shoot, I'm. Well, it's okay. You can be Miriam. Okay. I'll be Cameron Queen. I have to change my name. Actually, I'm. Because I'm sure, excited, a little nervous. Okay, okay, a lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself, but then, well, I ate it, and I couldn't taste any love in the food. What if I'm no good? What if I fail? What does love taste like? <laughs> Teach me. What does love... I'm not even that much... Wait, she's crying, oh my god. Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always held herself to a very high standard. Clearly. Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box. <laughs> it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're gonna do great. Mm -hmm. But with University of Cooking School and Academy for Life... <laughs> I thought, um, where's the trademark? It's gonna be like, University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning's trademark, patented, KFC, restricted copyright. Famous three-day only semesters, wait, three-day only semesters. Three days only. I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. I would be too. That's three days, guys. <laughs> a sweet girl, Miriam, has always had a flair for the dramatics. The school, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Wait, how do you- wait, hold, hold on. How aggressive was she being? <laughs> wait, no, hold, hold on. This is a really important, important, important point here. She was practicing on a mannequin. All right, I get it. You gotta practice for things like that. Totally understandable. She chipped her tooth. Why was her teeth making contact with the mannequin? Was it a faux mannequin? Was it a plastic one? She went, oh, and just, I'm just like, yes. What? 
I mean, they're strewing about. Wine glasses at the restaurant. That's a. That's a. <laughs> yeah, the most wine glasses. I don't know about you, but I don't use my teeth to. Um, get I've seen those wine glasses. For, uh, what are you talking about? Glasses. Wine glasses. Where are they're you? These big old wine glasses at the. They're, they're, there's a story going on. There's two narratives going on. Wait, you're doing. Okay, there's like not a. The chat appears in three different places, so I don't miss a single piece of the action. You're really bad at. You're missing your narration. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> Should you pep talk her or change the subject to give her some relief? Oh, I'm pep talking this chick. Oh, God. Remember last month <laughs> when we saw that fortune teller and had our tarot cards read? I'm concerned. The lady with the mask who gave me nightmares? I've been trying to forget. I know she looked spooky, but she was so sweet, and she told you that you were destined for great things. And naturally, I would believe anybody who says, I'll read your palm for five bucks. <laughs> Remember that fancy looking tower? You know, it was on the cards. It was labeled tower, and it looked like a tower. And that other card, featuring the handsome fellow in the red suit, you know, the fool, the dipshit, the moron. But it was a the cause. Starring Tim Allen. <laughs> I've been waiting so long. <laughs> that was my narrator voice. Okay, I've been. Sorry, guys, I can't take. You this. can't handle yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I want the truth of KFC, the eleven, 11 herbs and spices. You can't handle the truth. Okay. I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fellow that I could call my. Okay, oh, girl. Right. Okay, girl. You're in now, cooking school! And I'm sure you will soon. In no time, we'll be graduating, and you'll be delighting the world with your heartfelt cooking in no time. Friendstone from the start. Yes. Yeah. As you talk Marion up, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know, because her nerves were in my hands, and now I am finally letting well, actually, go. Actually, no, you have a whole brachial plexus. This is what I've been learning. This is, this is your nerves being raised. That's actually, no, that's just the, that's just the median nerve. I've learned all of the glass covers. So, so, can I tell you things about my profession? Look, this is a smartphone. <laughs> there's a, there's a computer in there. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay, after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. Oh, she does have bangs. Do you think okay stands for orange kangaroo? <laughs> or, or do you think it's short for the actual word okay? Um... Spelled O-K-A-Y. -A I always look at it, and I think K-O. Can you believe I cut them myself? Yes. I can believe that. It's a little a little raggedy. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's you. She might want to brush them out. Yeah. You can't... <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's you. Oh, that's sassy. Nice KFC. I... I, uh... I cannot believe it. You lied. Before you get another word out, you're rightly interrupted when someone smacks your books and yeah, I, I keep having to reduce them all <laughs> I'm just saying I get excited <laughs> That's not the microphone. when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands and onto the ground do you have that or does she have that mm. oh I guess it was her hey, hey my spoons it's I, I'm gonna say Ashley I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Ashley and I'm keeping it at that Ashley hi Ashley no Ashley Ashley hi like like Ashley? Maybe it's Ashley. Like, Ashley. My name's Ashley. And you ain't got a pronunciation. Ashley. Because I don't believe him. Ashley. Ashley? Ashley? Ashley. How about Ashley? Ashley? Ashley. A-E, as in Caesar, which is also apparently pronounced. Can I just call her A? Ashley. <laughs> well, we can go with the first option. <sighs> okay, fine. You have to pick one. Uh, I'll go with Ashley. Here's the narrator. It's Ashley, your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help but fi be filled with jealousy. Look, you can tell she's evil. Look at that fang. And the red eyes. She can get away with anything she wants, and she knows it. So, what does that count for? Hi there, Ashley. <laughs> oh, I didn't see you there, chicken shins. You leave Kim, Kim Queen's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. I mean, I'd like to think they're... Uh, anyway, that's, I, I digress. Ah, you can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact it's Ashley Ashley! <laughs> but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better. 
So, so <laughs> you had the letters herself, or did her parents? I'd like to believe that in this universe, her parents were just like, your name is Ashley, it's six letters long, and she's like, no. It's Ashley. With one, two, nine letters. Oh my god. It's extra. Oh, that's me. It is, Miriam. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. Oh, how and do you know that? Especially, because I have is the perfect Is it me? Shins. Is it you? Is it all of us? We're not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Is she sticking out her tongue? Maybe. Maybe. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend. Van Van, the man man. I think it's Von Von, the man man. Van Van, the man man. Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. <laughs> his pants are so tight that you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No lie, they're rocking glutes. Damn. Now Damn, that... Van Van the Man Man. Ahem. Van Van. <laughs> you, Rang Rang. I love this man. <laughs> it so it's a two star. Oh, God. You've never been more sure that that arrangement is. But as long as you know them, Ashley and Van Van <laughs> has been just as close as you in... Mer oh, my God. Insert name again. Miriam? Miriam. <laughs> I'm very mad at pronounce it however you want to. You can call her Jackson if you want to. I'm not calling her Jackson. You're the narrator. You say whatever you want. This is your story. But subquitially, subquat, sub substantially, substantially more devious. Sorry, guys. I actually can't read very well. Forgiven. I can't believe that University of Cooking School Academy for Living trademark 2019 would ever allow people like you to attend as students. When uh, did the game come out? 2020 or 2019? I don't know. I can't. 2020. Search. I know, right? You think they just have us our diplomas now? Well, maybe hire us as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. He's styling his pompadour. I love it. He's I love it. Oh my god, he's a star pompadour? He's a Joe Star. I'm telling you, he's a Joe Star. Man, man, canon Joe Star. Okay. <laughs> With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. RESIST THE URGE! Okay. <laughs> Tells them off. Let's go, Miriam. <laughs> See you later, losers. Oh, that's a nose. Hey, kid. As you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid he pushing must... hard against the window next to it. He must be evil, too. He's got a fang. And freckles, I which think means that's... he's a demon. No, they have, like, an eyelash that's, like, cutesy-ish. Dude, but look at that. Look at that eyeliner. God. That is on point. No. Do you want to be pop? Oh my god, he has a belly. <laughs> Oopsie. I think it's broken. I feel bad for this guy now. <laughs> He's literally dying. He is. He reached yeah. forward and easily pulled the door open. Uh, that should be the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you? <laughs> my name's Pop. He's named after my papa. He's old. <laughs> Can someone like this also be a student at this school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name, here, name tag clearly says Bob, but I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh, that, that's, that's special. <laughs> okay, he doesn't have a name tag the on. Poor kid doesn't even know his own name. Oh, poor guy. Hi, Pop. I'm Cameron Queen, so... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? No! And with that, the young man walks into the building ahead of you. Is it just me, or is he kinda cute? It's just you. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> I'm glad we can predict this very well. You both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. And <laughs> 100%. You stand at the edge of the room, unsure of where to sit. Other students wander in and keep to themselves, busy chit-chatting. What is that face in the corner? I, I want to know who that is. What if that's like the current CEO of KFC just staring back at us, like being like, I'm the one to thank for this. Oh, God. Remember that. Maybe it's the game developer? I don't know. <laughs> A scruffy-looking pooch takes his place at the podium at the front of the class. Adorable. This one's mine. Fine. This was mine. <laughs> Sprinkles! Now, now, quiet, everyone. Who is this unreasonably cute pup, and why is he in our culinary class? 
You must be Sprinkles, head instructor and CEO of US UCS UCSAL. Copyright trademark 2019 or 2020 pending approval. Please call me Professor Dog. I may be cute and little and fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Isn't that like against all food? Like you can't have Maybe pets. He grooms himself food. well. Okay. He's one of those um, never shed dogs. Then what's wrong with a rat preparing food at a restaurant? You know, poor Remy from Ratatouille. Well, you know, clearly there's nothing down. wrong. I mean, well, they had made a whole movie about it. In this world, I guess there's nothing wrong. But apparently in his... Why would you make a movie about something that's wrong? Why? What a cute dog! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the words. Okay. What? I can't. I can't make this through without yeah, like five minutes. What's your dog? Is okay. a professor. Excuse you. This is my life. You said you just said you couldn't make it through. <laughs> this is the best script ever. I guess only a dog's nose is capable of picking up all the nuances of fine cooking. Oh, so by the way, in case we were wondering, lab rats only have a lifespan of about two years, so it's not enough time for them to go on and get their professional chef done. That's know. why they can prepare food. They're just gonna die. Remy wasn't a lab rat. He was like a field rat. So, is there a difference in age timing? Out of nowhere, wind begins to rush around you as a swarm of cherry blossoms petals fly inside the classroom. Why do I feel like this is a bad anime sequence? I'm chilling. So close the window. Oh, dad. He trademark walks in. Asterix. <laughs> Whatever, close enough. You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. Yes. Who knew anyone could be so handsome? Time stands still. It will now forever be twelve forty six in the morning. Look at his eyelashes. They're like big blobs. Look They're like that. sensor bars. Look at that goatee. Oh man. It's him. If it isn't my favorite student, Harland. <laughs> Colonel Sanders interrupts Sparkles. Sorry. Harland Sanders? Professor Dog, before he can finish his sentence. I don't know, I don't know. Like, you, want, you want me to do it? What am I going to do? Make him a southern you, bell? It's, it's all you. I don't know if I can it's have... It's all you. I don't know if I can remember this many I voices. It, I think it's all you. I can't think of a This is like on the spot, man. I'm gonna make it real weird if you don't pick something. <laughs> well, let's see, they're really high voice or really low voice. Pick a pick. Please call me. <laughs> you already did that before. Oh my god. No, no, there's a subtle difference. You didn't catch on. Oh my god. One's like, <laughs> the other one's like, <laughs> does that make sense? <laughs> Yes. Should I try, should I say it differently? Oh, you got it? cool, cool. cool. No, you're not. No. Please call me Colonel. Yeah, we'll go with that. Colonel Sanders. A hushed murmur rolls across the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle's desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Sweat begins to beat across your back. Your brow. You feel like everyone's looking at you, and you're not entirely wrong. Well, I mean, part of that is because you probably stink. You forgot deodorant today. And this over here. What did I do for Ashley? I don't know. And this over here must be sweaty. Sweats a lot. Oh god, what was this? <laughs> I can't remember these sweaty voices. Just, just roll with it. Maybe we should just open the window back up before faucet pit. Melts into a puddle and evaporates in time. Oh, I, I get it. Faucet pits. Like, my, my pits are faucets. So you, you can't turn them off. Hold on just a second. Nobody talks to my friend like that. You two both know my name. We were in the same kindergarten class, and what is with all of your really weird insults? Besides, when Cameron Crane... Cream? 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 <laughs> so it's, it's not gross. It's... What are you chewing? See the perspiration? See, you Sweats? Glow? Wait. You're glowing. And by that I mean you have a faucet coming out of your armpits. You turn to find Colonel Sanders standing right in front of you. Hey there, baby cakes. The click on it. I oh do. My God. Colonel Sanders, beautiful angel that he is. 
<laughs> smiling gently, Beautiful. his hand out stress. I love how he's not smiling. Guys, can you understand? Look at that. They can't. Howdy, boy. <laughs> boy. Boy, howdy. <laughs> this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fry. I'd like to drop the bomb now that this was labeled as hentai on the Steam button. What? <laughs> From the Steam store, it was labeled as hentai. No, it is not. It is, because when I tried to search for the game, it didn't show up, because I've, I've picked hentai as a tag that I'm not interested in, and I had trouble finding the game. Only when I turned hentai off, being blocked, was I able to find the game. Because it said, when I'm on the page, it said, part of your category is that you've chosen not to see. Hentai. I wonder if that's a joke or not. We'll see. Look at the big ass hands, arms, arms. I'm pretty sure they just changed sizes as soon as they yeah, switched they his pose. Please use my handkerchief. The black one. You free You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. <laughs> He's talking to us. The the, the combination he, he, of player oh, that God. is us. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. <laughs> This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? How old is this man? How will you respond? I don't need no handkerchief. You feel horrible that your first interaction with Colonel Sanders is centered around the fact that you're a sweaty mess. <laughs> no, no thanks. This is it's actually on purpose. It's an old family secret to keeping our skin soft and healthy. Shimmering, if you will. You wave his hand away and quickly wipe your face with your apron instead. Oh, that's disgusting. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and get some, and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning Copyright 2019, maybe, who knows at this point. <laughs> the greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legend past, present, and future many challenges await you. There will be tears, there will be blood, there might even be really... Adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a. You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. I thought I was going to say broby. <laughs> Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Uh, hi, guys. Sorry I'm late. I uh, hope everyone had a good summer. Uh, I really miss. Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue, you're on the fast track. Gotta hear you, man. Are you sure you're even in the right place? Don't, don't you recognize me? This, this is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does, does, does nobody remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish the... <laughs> He's grabbing. Wow. So cute. Everybody is also wearing like that, that chef with the buttons down the side. Every single one so far. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is only acceptable. Growl. Even Clank made it here on time, running halfway through the cross towers, tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sparkles is referring to, who appears to be some sort of industrial <laughs> kitchen appliance. <laughs> the class first <laughs> into laughter. <laughs> oh, Clank, you rascal. <laughs> Sparkles gets into the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose in the air and takes a deep whiff. Oh, my diet is lacking based on what I'm picking up here. You definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. You've never heard a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart but tough is well known. You, distract, you decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? Uh, this is, this is a KFC game, so obviously we should give him a rubber ball. Chicken snack. You reach behind, beneath your apron and return with the chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkles' eyes go wide and he locks onto it. His favorite. He's like, chicken, I want chicken. This whole game is chicken. It's hardwired in my programming. Well, 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 I think there might be some competition for new star students. For a new star student? 
The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hand slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. It's a furry. He is furry. And a professor. But he's not animal more. Human no. Human. I give up. <laughs> you see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned the importance of carrying a range of dog treats. Yo, I just know that podium's cock. Hi. Settle down, young chefs, and please stop looking at this podium's cock. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing in the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Cameron Queen! Cam Cameron Queen. Oh you may call me Cam Queen. Hey, Cameron Queen, there's a seat here! It seems that no one has claimed the seat next to me, if you're interested. So, should we try to get down and dirty with our best friend who we've known since probably birth, who knows? Or, uh, this rando. Or did we go to high school with this guy? I don't really know. No, he's hot, he, old, he just walked in. We should probably go he's to... He's a famous in Well, actually, no, he's definitely not old in this version. Well, let's, let's consider our options here. Um... You pick something We've about Mark. We've the best friend already, remember? Oh, okay, we got That was Sanders. disgusted, man. You moved to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. I knew their hearts to off. It appears he brought no books, no pens, no pencils. However, his perfect upright posture shows off a very seriousness that makes you confident in his desire to learn. Thanks for offering me the seat. I only had two rules. Do all you can. And do it the best you can. It's the only way you get that feeling of accomplishing something. That is so inspiring. As I stand like this. So inspiring. A little off topic, if you ask me, but okay. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Big facts, it's time for a quiz. Oh god. Get yeah, me a quiz about me. This incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your eyes sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes a question number one. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Um, it's extremely important, thank you. Look at you, Pop. That's right! Forest is a tree, as chicken is too. Well, forest is a collection of trees. So chicken is a collection of... Feathers. That's right! Is this What's to be the most efficient eating utensil ever created? He mentioned the sport earlier. Also, I've never eaten with a meat tenderizer. I have eaten with a comically oversized fork before, though. Yeah, those are fun, actually. There's a wooden one at my friend's house. You remember? Oh. There's also a comically sized spoon as well. We have a knife, a fork, and a spoon. Have you not seen them? They're all, like, this big. I've not seen those. Well, mine was, like, this big. So... No, no, no. Mine is definitely larger than This is like... definitely a fork measuring contest, but mine is bigger. <laughs> or rather, my parents. I've seen it. <laughs> I've eaten off of it. I don't want your parents... To be bigger, so it's, it's, it's gotta not, be the it's sport. It's not the sport. That's right. That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Pancakes. Camel meat. I wouldn't eat that. Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. See, that's probably isn't that the well, KFC has a ton of salt, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes. Every fast food chain here in America has a ton of salt. I feel like the love is most important here. That's right. My heart is always in the right place. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. Out of five. Alright. Wow. Did you cheat? I feel like that's him supposed to be asking, but it doesn't say it's Sprinkles, but... You look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been wa watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know, we just met, but I have to confess. My undying love. 
I think you have a beautiful brain. Oh god, wait, wait, wait. If this is a dating sim, does that mean every single person we've met so far is a potential suitor? Don't think about anything. Go on, continue the narration. Hot diggity! Cameron Queen, you just scored some major colonel silence. Points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Time for lunch! Wow, this cafeteria is, a nut, is as nice as any restaurant you'd ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school's dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. The Stewart's Cafe established 2015! Did this really come out six years ago? There's no way. I hope not. A delicious <laughs> fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose. Your it water. so recent. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. It smells like chicken and the lemon herbs and spices. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize for my tardiness. You see... I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, um, I was, uh... It's about lunch. Obviously, you're gonna prepare it. <gasps> Everyone cheers! But I... Oh, shit. <laughs> lunch, lunch, lunch! She said she, in honor of our new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Very sensual reading there, Anna. That must be the snacks! Very opposite of sensual reading there, Anna. Indeed, that snack. Nice continuity, the transition was perfect. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? I'm quivering in anticipation. Is this... <laughs> <clears throat> Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high, sir. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crisp, golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Man, that turned into a huge... Do you not feel warm and safe right now, Anna? That, that just felt like a commercial, guys. It's better than the creepy commercials where they... No, yeah, no, it's so creepy. warm and safe now. I go KFC's and chicken bucket. Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel, novel concept. Nobody's ever done this in the history of Delta. That's a meme, sorry. You probably didn't get that. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking and start it's time for you. Nom, 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 so I have nom, been nom. developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. For my calculation, nothing less than a lemon herbs and spices. I told you it was a lemon. I require to achieve the perfect. Balance of flavors. He's about to say flavors again. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper and is scribbling notes down as fast as they can. No, it pen's over there. But that's all I'll say about that. Game over. We did it. That's, that's all I'll say. There's nothing else to learn. What do you think we want your stupid secret recipe for, dude? <laughs> Nah, my dude, nah. Go back to your star polishing. It's oh, just, Lord. um, grafting a last will and testament in the case of one of those ingredients is, a uh, poison. Got him? Got him. <laughs> he looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. Oh, he does not look <laughs> great. <laughs> he looks, he looks, he looks not right. Zinger actually has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. <sighs> Yeah, I was just, like, writing in my diary. Wait, 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 wait. She has chicken legs. She's got, yeah, legs. she's got chicken leg cutouts on her stockings. She's got this sexual aura about her. 
with a heart on her boots. Okay, your turn. Yeah, I am. Oh! Your diary. Today, I smelled something beautiful. <laughs> and it was Colonel Sanders. Scratch that. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Tender. She said tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent. Uh, her, her waist just went from this size to like this size. No, no, no. That's her butt. Oh, damn. She fit. That is definitely her butt that just changed. Whoa. She has red eyes. Okay. I, yeah, that's what part of makes her evil. She slides closer to Colonel Sanders. I'm I'm Ashley, and you're Colonel Sanders, so... Oh, oh no, okay. Yeah. She realizes that, she, that he is destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. That's disgusting. The Davidson. Did I ever tell you that one time when I was out at a bar one time, this we were having a conversation with this one woman, and I was like, yo, I've got a fiancé. And she's like, ew, monogamy. Yes, she told me about that. <laughs> cool. It's like the first time you've ever had a weird... A it, was one of my, it was one of my weirder bar experiences. I usually just tell someone, like, I'm dating and or, I don't know. I, it's funny because when I say it, everyone just kind of disappears afterwards. Whereas when you see it, say it like most girls are like oh let me talk to you about like all my guy drama and i'm like i mm. wish i had that i have a fiance oh you do don't you i have a fiance uh, uh. yeah that oh, i have the same energy well if you don't want any okay, okay. It is. oh that's you it's pink i'm looking at the colors Whoa! Hold on, I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite, and his eyes grow wide. And he goes fucking super safe. He's like, what? I reached ultra Oh my god, look, his star is on top now! Okay, he starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration, and acts unimpressed. Easy now. There's not for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. This is messed up. This is me digging. You take one piece of this fried chicken out of this bucket, and you sink your teeth into it. Quick, I need a fried chicken prop. Don't eat mm, that. Fried chicken. <laughs> Watch out, dude. I went straight in my glass. <laughs> okay, it's Anyway, fried glass. chicken prop. I'm slipping it. It's amazing. Oh god, that looks like a big eye. It's the galaxy. Far, far it's away. our existence. I'm so concerned. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. You should swim towards the light. Focus your mind and meditate at this moment. Try and identify, savor the moment, and everything that it tells you. I swim towards the light. Somewhere up ahead, a bright light beacons you. The flavors are so intense, you become wrapped in them. Unable to resist, you reach towards the light. The light to grab it, grab your hand and pull it closer. Until your fingertips connect with the end of everything. I'm at the end. It's totally Colonel Sanders. You're forever lost in the tender fried chicken bliss. Your mind dissolves. There's no Cameron Queen now. There's only her herbs, herbs and spices. spices. Although Miriam tries to revive you, she cannot. <laughs> and I die. <laughs> well, that's at least two. Oh my god. Should we try again? Yeah, try again. Did it yet. Oh, I forget, should I be saving at some point? I don't think it's saved. Does it go all the way through? There is a chicken bucket in the top left. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a save or anything. And what does this button do? Click on it. Oh, it's just a menu. Alright. Resume. What is. I guess this is fast forward. I don't like that. This is the famous deliciousness. We did spelling this. this. Attention. Sexual energy. You should just fast things. forward. Oh, can I? Oh, I could just. Oh, that's like it's like. Oh, if I just do this. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then we get to. Ah, we're back to the light. Okay, no swimming towards the light. Should we focus your mind and meditate on this moment, try and identify every flavor or save the moment, and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart? 
We're in love with Sanders, right? It's all about the heart here, yeah. So we should go after Sanders. All right. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. Divine. What a guy! <laughs> Along with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? I can't stop this feeling. Deep inside, after tasting his food, you tried to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. You approach the colonel. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He's Smile. not smiling. Smile. Give the Sanders. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. C colonel, I, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything <laughs> for a fellow chef. <clears throat> what exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> Look at that face. Oh, oh, how bold to come out. I'm just curious. An idea I had for a new. Where did he get oh my that? God, what is that? <laughs> I had a new combination of flavors that will make my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's a rather small deal, actually. Like, uh, the hand size is supposed to be 70 double six, so... It was a card chip. It's just... You and me here talking, I can keep a secret. <laughs> In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. You know, the three-day semester. We've got two whole days. <laughs> That's like three days. <laughs> We've, got two more... We've gotten two endings already, and we haven't even hit, like, day two. I want all the achievements. We've got two <laughs> more whole days. No. He looks Shut disgusted. He just is like, ooh, ooh, attention. He's clearly not going to give it up easily, but it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? You've got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, then leans in, and you can feel his warm breath, breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use insert ingredient here. Why did you not do it? I thought I could cook on it like a spoon. Insert ingredient. You've never heard. I've guessed that. You've never guessed that. In fact, you quats. You're not even sure where you'd get some if you've searched. I don't even know what a kumquat is. Probably a fruit. It is a fruit. Now I really hope I'm not wrong, because, like, I swear someone's gonna point it out. <laughs> While you're wrapped up in a huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders outside, did he go, standing did he in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. My name is Colonel Sanders. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Sometimes I like to come outside and look at school buildings. And smoke some day. I could think about how my story uh, will continue continue on after I graduated. What you think that eleven herb was, dude? Wait, think about this. Dang. Wasn't this? Wait. Okay, this is a three day semester. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And the other I guy has been here for three years. Okay. Yeah. So like, is he retaking the class? Or did he already graduate and he's coming back to graduate it's a three again? Three day semester. Maybe they only have three days a year. I don't know. This, this... It sounds like you have big plans and an even bigger fried chicken drumstick. I dare to say the biggest I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on it. Alone together for the first time, you figure out. Now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. Let's see. Are we boastful? Are we inspiring? Or are we modest? You should be modest. He definitely would go for that guy. You think he's in for a sensitive guy? Sensitive? I don't know. Person like us? 
you so Well, much. I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. Oh, baby. The flavors were complex but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, peppery was perfect. And the kumquats. Perfection. See, what's sad is like, I don't even remember what KF said. Like, what, did, what does it even taste like besides fried chicken? It just tastes like fried. Tastes like fried chicken. It tastes like fried. It tastes like Kentucky fried chicken. An indisputable flavor combination of something salty, savory, and peppery. Oh, God. I appreciate the comment, Kevin Queen. I'm sure you'll be a big success. No, if we've only met today, I'm starting to get the same feeling about it. We should head back inside. The next lesson should start soon. You step into the massive cooking area where the afternoon class will lesson will take place. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Yo, is that one of our classmates? No. Get at the machine? The industrial cooking appliance? With the wheels to get there. Little wheels. With little wheels to get there. Oh, God. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show off our stuff. Wait a sec. Oh, no. We have to show off our stuff. What if I totally blow it? You will. Miriam, you're not going to blow anything contrary to what I literally just told you, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans you're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to the cooking arena. Oh. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and burn off. Whoa! Okay, sorry, I read that and I didn't read it out loud. Naturally, Maria looks at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce. Oh, <laughs> that's sexually aggressive. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is me and you, if that wasn't already clear by me pouncing on you. Want to be my partner? Sure, Captain Queen. I'll prepare our station. Our best friend is heartbroken. Look at her tearing up. This is what you get. Without a partner, Maria is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. I am your partner! Oh my, two potential partners! I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little bit awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Should we give her <laughs> Or should we give her insert mechanical sounds here? I like insert mechanical sounds. I Fine. feel like he's less likely to hurt her. Sorry, Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with uh Mike today. Oh, she doesn't like that. It's okay, I already ate. You're cooking. It's not entirely it's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what point of school even is at this point at this juncture clank is clearly excited to have some attention man look at that face of anticipation he's just like <laughs> he's heated up and began to roll back and forth i don't know if that's arousal for an industrial player. i'm concerned i think maybe we should have given her pop should we call the guidance counselor Go walk, 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 walk. hold on there fella we don't even know the assignment yet technically clank Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about him. I swear, if she ends and up with clearly him. hot. Somewhere over 300 degrees. <laughs> oh, God. I can't take this seriously anymore. That's my business. Okay, keep going. Oh, wait. Tissue, I hardly know you. <laughs> That's so funny. Clank jitters and panels shake loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Looks like you two will be fine. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to focus on your own cooking class. I'm not okay. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an iron. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. 
Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? I don't know if that's an option, actually. Steak tartare? Um, octopus will <laughs> blow his mind. I want to do more than just blow his mind. I want to... No! I want to... Uh, perhaps mashed potatoes and gravy. It just says goes so perfectly with the KFC bucket of... No, I mean, I guess, if you just want to go with that. What do we want to give him the octopus and absolutely blow? Not just his mind, but something else entirely. Let's go with... Let's do the octopus. I want to see what he thinks. I was thinking about trying something exotic. Something that I don't normally do in the bed kitchen. Maybe a dish that incorporates octopus in some way. You know, because it reminds me of your... I'm more of a down-home type of chef myself. What about something that goes with me here? Walks on land. Actually, there are certain species of octopus that do leave the water. For instance, have you heard of the octopus aculitus? Aculitus. It leaves the water to hunt for crab. An octopus that walks upright and hunts crabs. I've never heard of anything. Everything. Now I've heard of everything. The world is such a truly marvelous place, isn't it? Octop- Oh my god, He's got Super a... Sand again. He never came down. What? Oh! Octopus crab! It sounds like you're draw describing one of my signature discs. Are you trying to steal my thunder- That was totally not his voice. I like it better. Oh, look at this poor little girl with the big uh, butt now. What are you doing? I was adjusting the- Your turn. Don't worry about it. Story. Has the collection been moved up to D? How dare you try and muscle into my culinary territory? Nobody better touch a septopod without going through me first. I think there's been a misunderstanding. Nobody's muscling on any mollusks. We were simply discussing today's assignment. You can cut the tension here with a chef's knife, which makes sense because chef knives are pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, we were just talking. I'll happily step back from any and all seafood. You know what? I'm just going to make mashed potatoes and gravy. I, I know my grandmother's recipe by heart. Keep the tentacles. And your... That's... Cut me off. Oh, I was gonna Come say, off. well, I was gonna say that's probably why it's a head tie game, you know, the tentacles. Okay, you begin to peel and boil potatoes and try to extrude yourself? Extract yourself! Extricate. Extricate yourself? Extricate. What the hell is that? I mean, I guess it means leave. It's a word! Yourself from this thorny- thorny? 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 That's one letter away from- What? Situation, but your new rivals aren't having it. One letter away from thorn. I know where your mind's at, jeez. This game is weird, man. This game is perfect. I just noted, too. Look at the sexualization on vibes on here, man. Those thighs, my god. He's got some hips. Dude, that man can feed a small army with those thighs alone. Well, yeah, he's all muscle, probably. I doubt that you even have the, the capabilities to work with the ingredients so delicate. You should probably stick to micro dishes. I don't like my friend Van Van, though. He may be the man man. I have no doubts whatsoever that Chris said his ability to concoct creations with our admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. He's crying. Don't you feel deep down that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together in like a fine of drumstick. This makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. Thank you for for accepting that game. But one thing is clear. She's coming for the colonel if you don't watch out. Oh, hey, oh, she ain't the only one. And Karen Queen and Van Van are both so inclined to the sea. Perhaps they should go there together. Actually, are you suggesting I share the secrets of my special sea water sauce with this? No, I'm disappointed in all of you. I don't want to know what a special salt water <laughs> sauce is. Ashley is really going at you hard. Oh no! You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a forget about my best friend. I need to learn to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format. Okay, which stands for orange kangaroos. You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I choose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders choose me. Colonel Ch chose, isn't that right? Sometimes conflict can actually build character. He sneers at you. I wouldn't want you to shy away from a bit of healthy competition with our peers, Cameron Queen. Wow, is he, he just winked? Is he just not just not that into you? You should you should think of a gentleman who would defend you in a situation like this. Did you do something to offend him at some point? Perhaps mention cephalopods. You maybe look maybe for tentacles make him feel uncomfortable. It's the hentai. You think for sprinkles? I don't know where this is going. You look for sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short butts, but sturdy statures. You look down at your stations and realize that, in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy, mashed texture. This reminds me of something. So the other day. During my beer class, apparently on the, the app that tracks the beers and stuff, there's a category called Crushable. And I found in one of my assignments, somebody giving a, net, a rendition of a beer that's crushable, which apparently means you can just down that bad boy. Consider for a moment, crushed boiled potatoes, crushing the boiling potatoes. Perhaps not the water that they were boiled in, but the potatoes. And now, picture this, humor me a moment, in your mind, our character, or perhaps the honking Colonel Sanders, just like downing potatoes raw, no skins or any, or skins totally on, straight from the ground, just going through, just like digging his hands into the ground soil, the tin soil, and bringing up these little nuggets of beautiful earth and jewels, going, Munch, that's a good one. Munch, that's an even better one. Crushing these potatoes. Anyway, that's what popped up in my head. You may continue. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. Stomach it cooking. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He's bold. He's holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out of which pours a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. Oh, dude, here comes the SS gravy boat. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. And crushable. Granny would be so proud. Colonel Sanders holds his fork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it. Oh, he doesn't immediately end. let go. The two of you stand holding the same spark. This is this is your spark. This is the spark. I'm For that it. moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Your eyes lock. The moment is easy. I stand still. Boogie, woogie, woogie. At 1.30 a.m. If you love something... Oh, sorry. If you love something, set it free. The sporky's talking about the sporky. That's the sporky's not even us. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potato and lift a heaping sporkful up. And you see Ashley with a sinister look. You know she's plotting <laughs> against you. That's pretty sinister. Look at that. She's winking. You know what that means. And then, Move. filled with rage and without thinking, you fill the spork of mashed potatoes right into... Bling! Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Boink! Do something, do something! Scooping up a fingerful, Ben Ben tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravies and realizes no, it's, it's delicious. Horrified by this re relation, he sinks away. Will he ever be able to cook yo, something yo, I just so much something. love and integrity? Her top eyeliner matches merely perfect on his bottom eyeliner. I just With a three star that. look. I thought they were going for Egyptian. No, she has four! Actually, kind of looks like five. No, there's like four. And there's one, two, three, four, and then that fifth one. So, oh, I guess if you're going for that. We're talking semantics here. And those eyeliner games are on point. Hold on right there, Cameron Queen. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you would both better be prepared to eat from wherever it lands. Right off of that girl's face. You got my potato dish face? <laughs> that man rushes back over with a covered dish in his hand. Mash 
potatoes with gravy is pathetic. In just a few minutes, I'll prepare a full meal. Here is upon my specialty, brazen tentacle of oct octopus and my silky salt water sauce planted on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. I'm just, I'm just very happy to see that the silky Hentai. salt water sauce is brown. Not another potentially suggestive color. You ignored me for so long that ends it. I, it is I who will have first bite and you will all feel harm with envy. The interrupting student rushes at Ban Ban and just wipes him at his signature dish right off the plate. That was an axe. That was not a plate. I hope he stabs himself. No, no! Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was right. I may have turned in the process. The results could be... It's too late. It's been even eaten. I, uh, think I left something in the oven. Oh, it feels so good. It killed him! Everyone step back! Don't take another bite! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped into Pop's mouth. <laughs> Pop whines in pain for a moment and then is almost immediately back into his ob oblivious self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison! The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are motionless as statues. The class <laughs> bell disrupts the moment, and snapping everyone back to reality, it could appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professors here make enough money. Shit like this. Um, hello. Just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. Can I ride on your back? Can I get a piggyback ride? Why? Like for real? Come on. You follow Colonel Dickens. Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. <gasps> Colonel Sanders, in the quad's neon glow, stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today. Before you go on, I want you to know they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. <gasps> Tasting them reminded me. Oh, why I was so passionate about food to begin with. I'm so touched. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. He's got tears in his eyes. Look, he's got tears in his eyes. Can, can confirm. He's Cooking is up. obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. You might be in the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. He's gonna reject us. Colonel Sanders? Yes, Cat, my queen. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there! <laughs> anyway, there's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You see, when I was a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I've been working towards the dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting, and also lifting a lot of weights. Like so many weights. Look at those arms. We should follow our dreams with all our hearts that our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Hey, no, I, you, shut up! I'm the one here! I <laughs> stop and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? You can't prove that. <laughs> I also saw that you killed that guy. What was his name? You don't know. Somewhere in the distance, you hear a long, sad sigh. He's still there. Forget him! We're talking about me! Me! I'm the hero! This world monster is gonna fight a hero! The fuck? Oh, I think I left the fridge door open. Let's... 
We will not let harm come to another student. How are you speaking so calmly, Colonel? Except for the There's a freaking monster over here. <laughs> I kind of dropped the ball on that. Like a weird amalgamation of sport kind and crumb? We're afraid! We know you're afraid of me! Because I'm a monster! See? Is he rhyming on purpose, or is, is, is that just a coincidence? Is that a rhyme? But before you can discuss synantis, syntax. syntax any further, it's a turn-based fight <laughs> sequence. What will you do? Should we defend ourselves? You should attack. No, you should. Yeah, you should. Do we attack? You should but attack. But we also defend. Attack! Attack! The jackal! Oh, I was like, a jackal! You decide to go for the attack. Which attack do will you use? Cook with love. The only one you get. Mm. Cook with love does one damage. Ooh. I just got rip. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on attack. They spill spit hot gravy gravy at you. Yeah. Take one damage. I don't know how much health we have. Yeah, what health do we have? Should we attack again. Yeah, just attack again. <laughs> We're awesome. awesome, right? Cooking with love. Yeah, try that. <laughs> Don't forget this is really threat feeling threatened by your attack. Focus their mad ma their mashed mind and draws an energy from Mother Earth itself. They go spirit bomb. And more intimidating. How will you respond? I guess you should defend now. Cause he's big. Really smart move. He's scary now. You decide to defend. What? Trepidation. You hold your head between your hands and mutter, "This is not happening. This is not happening." <laughs> They go into the attack. He's no quitter. He'll continue to spit her. Take so, how do we, like, not take damage? We must attack once more! Okay, I guess. We can't run. Yeah, I try to attack. Attack you! Go with with Elvu! Ew. Oh, he's using cheese sauce. sauce. I wonder who's going to have to clean that up. He's got cheese, gravy, and mashed potatoes, and... The... Feeling vulnerable, Sport Monster prepares for its ultimate attack, Rounded Edge. The villain, you reign of terror, stops terror! I'm gonna catch you with my cart staff! He summons a uh, thousand chickens. The energy of a thousand chickens. Pot pie, power pinch! Trademark! <laughs> Just 10 damage. <laughs> Man, this pot pie is pretty fucking hot! Why are they always this hot? Ouch! You saved me. An injured spork monster spews steam into the night. No, forget mercy. <laughs> we, we spare him? Are we a merciful cooks? I don't know. What would be better for like our well, poor guy? Let's think about it this way: If we had mashed potatoes and spork come up and just start attacking us, do we do we just do we throw it away, or would we, do we just let it let lay there? I don't know. Maybe it'll just go away on its own. Yeah, maybe we should just spare it. The poor child. Do we leave it on a counter or do we, we throw it away? Do we clean up our, after our mess? I feel like we'd be responsible if we cleaned up after our mess. Yeah, but like, I don't wanna. It's a sentient being now, so. Yeah, we don't wanna kill it. I don't I don't feel like we should go to jail. To be fair. We spare it. Spare him like those ribs. <laughs> he managed to tamp down your disgust at the sight of this garly beast long enough to realize that he's still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Yes. Valid. Valid point. Be gone, beast! Did you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow? Oh, well, that's nice. Oh, goodness! But it certainly will be back. Just like you said. The sport monster scuttles off into the night. <laughs> the defeated monster left behind a special item. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. The Cookonomicon! It's a book of magical spells with a golden cock on the cover. It's the Cockonomicon! You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it out was Borko. Hmm. Borko. That name sounds strangely familiar. What if Sprinkles' name is Sprinkles Borko? Like, because he's a good little bork? <laughs> your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. 
An image of Colonel Sanders flashes before your eyes as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. I wonder if this poster in the background is like like a K-pop band or something, but like the colors are giving me vague vibes of like the Wiggles. But I know there were only five Wiggles. Yeah. Oh, there were four Wiggles. There were four Wiggles. Okay, maybe I'm, I'm wrong about that. But the purple guy is totally Jeff. The guy who slept. And I'm pretty sure he's dead, too. He doesn't look like Jeff at all. But but he's wearing a purple shirt. It doesn't matter that he's wearing a purple shirt. He does not look like Jeff. Fine. You wanted to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you are tucked in lightly. Good night, my colonel. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sparkles is also there, instructing your love. Dreams are weird. You two, we love each other. Oh my god, such beauty. Uh, kid's dead. That's beautiful. You awake on day two and attempt to progress. Day two has begun. The wild visions you had, were there any memories or pre-, pre whatever? And then there was that secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went, a went ahead and told you outright. How much of a secret, huh? Do you want to continue with day number two? Probably just because he already trusts you so much. We're continuing with day number two. No, no, no. I think we should take a break. I think I'm good for today. Well, it's that's, like that's why I asked. Yeah. This is the beginning of day number two. We could save it for another session. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll start day number two eventually. This is pretty, this feels like a pretty quick game. I don't know. I think it's, a, it's fleeting. It's one of those beautiful... It's like those other beautiful things in life. They are famously fleeting. Beautiful. Or fleeting famously. Totally beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's got that... It's got that spark. It's got that spark to it. Like, sparking of tinder. Flame on an oven. Cooking these beautiful tenders and chicken breasts and stuff to a golden brown and... It's pop cooking time! You're slay. Okay! Slay queen. And with that, I'd like to thank you all for being here. I wonder if there's a- is there a save button? If I, if I go to title screen, I hope it just saves where I am. Perfect! That was lovely. Oh god. Well, that was an absolute joy. That was an interesting adventure. Uh, we'd like to dedicate this whole stream to my brother, obviously, because, um... This one's for you, Anthony. Without him! You wouldn't be tortured like us. Thank you all very much for watching. Heart Emoticon, I love you. Heart Emoticon, Colonel Sanders. Double drumstick. Dating simulator. It's been fun. Thanks for the joining the party, if you did. I wear party hats now. Eventually. My actual party hat should get here on Wednesday. Oh, cool. Should be fun. They're all different different types of colors, and we could make my own. It'd be great. It'll be fun. Well, have It'll a be fun and that. weird. And wonderful, but I'm looking forward to it. Anna, thanks for joining me. Uh, I know you came all this way. I know it's a really long I walk from the you. bedroom. I to know here, this is your room. From your desk to my desk, but I really do yeah. appreciate it. Half the time it. I'm in there, you know. You, I joined to play Soul Worker. That's a, oh, and we play 100% orange juice. Lovely. Other than that, Cameron, Silent X, uh, plays mainly what is it like Hat and Time? I play Hat and Time. Valhalla. He likes bartending. So. I love my bartending game. Eventually, you're going to have to have a clicky button where people favorite. make you make a drink. I feel like I'd just be wasted. I'd probably die. I'm not doing that. Just make I'd die. I would die. No, it'd be fun. Maybe. No, no. I'd die. I don't want to I don't, don't want to die. die. I don't want to die. What if you just eat die. food? I could eat food. Or you, Beautiful should, you, fried chicken. you should do jumping jacks. If you, if you help me make some Kentucky fried chicken on our own. Babish did an episode on that. We could totally do it. And then I could have chicken on one, one button for chicken, one button for drink, or rather just one button for for drink or chicken, and it rolls, it flips, it flips a coin, and one side is drink and one side is chicken. Maybe there's like a D20 of things, like a random things table, like a, you know how for random effects of spells you do all the D100 and just see what happens? Maybe one is Colonel Sanders time. I get all like, it's regular looking good, and I take a drumstick and I just sit there and... You know, oh, are we dyeing your hair like white for that day? Spontaneous dinner stream. <laughs> Don't say it again, Anthony will actually believe you. Oh, it's God. just me, staring at the camera, eating something. Question mark. That would go under just chatting. See, everyone could talk to you. They'd love you. Eat. Just chatting, just eating, just, just scarfing down these drumsticks. It's a talk show. Thanks, everybody. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you for joining the party, if you did. If you didn't join the party, consider coming in next time. The door is always open. 
Make sure you drive home safely. Think I guess says yes. Yes, to the dinner. He's looking forward to the dinner stream. That is never happened. Yes. I already ate dinner. It was a lovely thing of fish. No, no, no chickens this time. Anyway, I wonder if there's anybody readable on time. Oh yeah, I forgot about nah, that. Nah, nobody readable tonight. We'll just be like that then. Have a lovely rest of the evening. If you're overseas and it's daytime, have a wonderful rest of the morning. If it's afternoon where you are, have a wonderful afternoon. If it is indeed the evening and night, early into the morning like us. Well, it's a rest. You deserve it. Good plans. Anyway, so long, everybody. Bye bye. That's it. There you go. Oh, I didn't click the stop shoes. <laughs>